Hello guys, welcome back to Simmer in Heaven. This is another episode in the emergency ambulance driver simulator kind of game that I've been playing. Um, I'm going to do this video and if it turns out that every episode is very, 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 very similar, I don't think I'd do any more videos on this game, but I thought I'd do one more just to see if there's any variation. Okay, so let's play. My office is so nice. Yeah, I like my office. Whoa. Okay, we have just received an emergency call. A person has fallen over at the supermarket car park. It looks like they've injured themselves. Oh dear, sad face. Confirm. Okay. Can I open the door? No? Whoa. I wish you could change the sensitivity of the mouse. Because right now it's kind of crazy. Okay, here we go. Which one are we in? This one? Okay, let's go. Okay, we're off people, don't worry, we're here to save the day, we're definitely here to save the day, it's okay, we can just drive through this, we are, am whoa, dearie me, see that's what happens when you try to drive too fast, eh, don't you just love the physics in this game? Physics are just awesome, baby. Okay, let's go. We don't need to put our lights on, it's okay. We're good. Oh, I'm going the wrong way now. Okay. Maybe the supermarket car park is somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. I just drove right past it. Wow, I'm such a pro, man. Okay, let's go. Uh. Okay. There was a light here before. Okay, let's go. S Market. Wow, cool. So this is the supermarket car park, right? Where's the person that's hurt themselves? What is this dude doing? I thought he was naked. Okay, let's go over there then. I thought it was like a naked guy, like streaking behind the supermarket. Here we go. Whoa. Look at this. Hello, don't get up and stay calm. Don't worry, this medication and some fluids will get you back into shape. We will also treat the injury. <laughs> I don't think we should do this. Fluids, no fluids. Uh, yeah, medication. For the nation. Okay. You can see why I thought this guy was naked because his clothes are like brown, like almost skin colored. Okay. What else? Oh. There you go. Fluid, see? Not intravenous drip, just fluids. Anything else? I don't think we should do this. We can't check his vital signs. Laying on the floor, dude. No, he he obviously doesn't have a fra fractured. So in the end, you just basically going, th you basically go through every option until you. They're both the same. Okay, do I do I need to use the same one then? What? What well, I've just done everything he told me to do, didn't I? Bleeding has stopped. What? Wow. 
We should reconsider. I'm now. I am literally just doing everything now. Is it that I need to do like one on one of them, one on the other? Well, this is the most exciting thing ever, isn't it? Yeah. So I had to use the other one somehow to to administer. Administer. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. I think we're going to get there now. Are we? What again? Medication now? What? Now what is what me to do? Oh my goodness. I'm literally again. So this is so weird. Again, I'm just trying everything until it lets me go. What is going on? I have literally tried everything now. Oh, but... Uh. Stop bleeding then, okay, so I had to do something about the bleeding. I really don't know. Yeah, this is why I'm not a doctor in real life, you see. Surely that's it. Yay, take him to the hospital. Has a warning lights. Okay, anyway, let's go to the hospital. He's in the back, people. So it would appear that every kind of thing you do is kind of similar. You know what I mean? Seems like most of the missions are very, very similar. It's not really enough to keep my attention for very long. I don't know. Somehow. I mean. It's an interesting idea for a game, but like I say, I think they just somehow... Basically, it just means you're driving around in this environment. If the environment was better... If the environment was better... Or if, you know, there was more interest in the way that you drive or something, or if it was more realistic, then I might find it more interesting, but... You essentially just end up driving around this kind of half baked environment in a half baked attempt at a vehicle you know anyway it was worth a try this game definitely worth a try okay and there's no options while I'm in the game there's literally no options at all oh that's my hazards uh, that's my indicators even oh First person view. See, and again, first person view. Well, first of all, the game, it doesn't work with a steering wheel. You can't use a steering wheel. So, that also will take away from some of the feeling. Because obviously, when you're driving a car with a keyboard, it's not the best. Is it? Okay, I've had enough of this waiting. We don't need to wait, do we? We don't need to wait, we'll just go. I mean, the first person view is not too bad actually, it's just. Yeah. And I can literally hear like no game sound at all, hardly. Whoa. It's kind of, in a way, it's kind of easier though, driving in first person view. Oh my goodness, I did it again. I think I did it again. I'm like the worst ambulance driver ever. Come on then. Oh, there it is. Oh no, I'm, I think I'm going back to the... Is this the station thing? Yeah, I think it might be. Yeah, I have to write the report. See ya, see ya, bud. See ya, dude. Whoa, I have a zombie as a co-worker. Zombie co-worker for the win. Okay, let's go write the report. I didn't get much out of there because I exceeded this. Well, I basically got so many 
penalties for various things. I should have put my flashing lights on, but hey. Flashing lights are kind of boring, aren't they, really? Let's be honest. Okay. Waiting for the next call. A drunk person has been seen, seen at the playground. Drive to the playground to see if he needs help. Okay, a drunk person. Ooh. Shock horror. A drunk person. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to try driving in first person view, you know. Because... I think, I think that might be better. To do, uh, you know, first person view and all that. Let's have the lights on this time, then I might not get as many failure things. Yeah, you see, so... Whoa! Sorry about that. <laughs> when you have your flashing lights on, you can obviously drive through the traffic lights and speed, and you don't get any kind of a penalty, so that's good. And why is there no engine sound? I can literally hear no engine sound. I think I need I need to look into that after this video. You can hear a bit of sound, but it's kind of quiet. I'm not sure why that is really. So, well, I do this every time. I'm so enjoying like the driving part, like cruising about. I keep forgetting that I need to watch out for the location. See, actually, I think I've just increased my enjoyment just by using first-person view. You see. Mean. I don't think you have to be exactly over that actually to be fair okay let's go drunk person why is he oh that's funny look <laughs> he's got loads of like beer bottles around him in the playground okay hello we are from the ambulance service we will administer some fluids and take you to hospital really I swear I'll never drink again what so this one is easy is it just fluids only yeah, like a boss. Yeah. There was none of that clicking for like half an hour to find the right option. Okay, let's go. To the hospital. Like, if I could use a steering wheel and if the graphics were a bit more realistic then I might enjoy it a bit more. But hey, and if there was actually a bit of game sound, but hey, that might be my problem, eh? We'll see. Okay, let's go, we're cruising. Yeah! Oh, I see, I did the exact same thing. <laughs> like it. And also, I wish the map, like, this video is basically me complaining about the game. Sorry about that, but I wish that the map was a bit bigger as well. If they did a bigger map, it's like I've said in other videos, it's just a shame that a lot of the companies, like this is a game that's made by Astragon, and very often any of the games I play by Astragon, I just feel like they're making a sim game on a budget, and they're not, they don't really care about quality, they just seem to be making it on a budget, and if they were to just spend a little bit more on it, or if they were to spend a little bit more time on it, I think they'll be able to actually make a decent game. And like I've also said in other videos, and you guys must be getting really, really tired of this, but if you look at a game like Euro Truck Simulator 2, I would say that's the only simulator game which has got vaguely mainstream. It's on Steam, it has actually sold quite a lot of copies, uh, and, that, and I don't think it's a a coincidence that's also one of the best like quality simulator games out there obviously I'm not talking about the racing games because of course for racing games there's quite a lot of simulator games but in terms of these kind of slightly more obscure simulator games then you know Euro Truck is like one of the only ma more mainstream, I wouldn't even say it's mainstream, more mainstream and it, you know it's also one of the highest quality simulator games I've ever played so I don't think that's a surprise really is it? 
it's like I just wish more of these these companies like actually put more effort into this you know a person has collapsed in front of a school in in the town the person is not responsive it's like everything it doesn't really really matter what the problem is with the person all of the missions just feel the same and if the map was slightly bigger like for example if you had a map that was like in Euro Truck 2 and you actually had to drive for a longer period of time and it was not only all in like a town then it would feel a lot more interesting right ooh this is a different ambulance or oh, actually to be fair the interior of this ambulance does look slightly better doesn't it slightly let's go people oh it's just here really wow this is kind of what I'm talking about like I would enjoy the driving a bit more anyway anyway I'm gonna try not to have this as a video just complaining I think it's because I was playing Euro Truck Simulator 2 yesterday and this is such a contrast hello what happened how do you feel I collapsed it looks like I don't drink enough I'm very thirsty really wow I believe that's fluids again. Yeah, give me the fluids, baby. To be fair, to be fair, there is another firm. Well, maybe not all their games, but Agricultural Simulator 2013. The people who make that, and I can't remember right now, the name has slipped my mind, but they do try and make good games. Certainly, the agricultural game. They try very hard to make a very quality game, but the problem they have is they always seem to release a game half finished. And also, I'm getting red lights again. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn on my thingies. I think I'm going the wrong way as well. Yeah, like their agricultural simulate a game the problem they have although they try hard at making a quality game the game is often very very buggy half finished and it literally will take them almost another half a year for them you know after the game is released to actually make the game playable which is kind of sad so there are other people out there trying to make quality simulate games but like I said it's just quite often unfortunately they don't which is a shame also that police force the game that I've been playing as well recently police force that's not a bad game actually but, you know they seem to have put some effort into it it's not perfect but hey okay I keep getting oh my goodness okay so I'm I have to drive normally now because I don't have anyone on board you see so this is my third mission well look at the curtains and stuff I don't think I need to do that much more, really, do I? Let's just go back right to the port. Because it's like I say, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of, of the missions in this game are very similar, you know? I think that, I think this might be the third part that I've done of this game, like a let's play of this game. And like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I won't be doing any more. If any of you guys have a burning desire for me to have more episodes of this game please let me know and if there's a few of you that would like of course I will make more but I feel like there's not much more for me to cover in this game really is that my place yeah oh I nearly hit a tree let's go right the floor Whee. Yay! 
I'm now level two. I wonder what happens when you level up. Like, I have a feeling there might not be that much more to this game with leveling up. I don't know. Whoa. An operation. They need an operation. No, I'm, I'm afraid that that is not exciting enough for me to continue this video. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize if this was a video of me just complaining about this game. Maybe that's not the best thing ever, but hey, you know, that, that is kind of my honest feelings about this game. I can't, you know, I don't do proper reviews on these games, but usually when I do a let's play, I kind of let you know about my feeling about a game, whether I think it's worth, you know, whether it's a good game or not. And I will say it again, I just wish more of the, the companies that make these kind of obscure simulator games. I wish more of them just had more resources or they could spend more time or they could just polish up these games more because the ideas of the games are good but they just can never seem to get it all together. But anyway. Okay guys, thank you for watching the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you and bye bye.